What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Fandoms Anonymous. I just want to talk about something real quick. I just recently went to go see Star Wars The Last Jedi, and I'm becoming what you would call part of the rebirth of Star Wars fans. Now, don't hate me. Do not hate me. Hands up. I have not watched episode four, five, or six. I came around in the times where the prequels came out. You know, certain I wasn't able to go see certain movies, you know, raising up, getting raised in a strict household, certain movies I didn't go see. But I did watch the prequels, uh, episode one, episode two, and episode three, and I thoroughly enjoyed them. That was back in the early 2000s. I was talking with my friend Kevin today, I was like, you know, growing up in that time, you know, I wasn't fully versed, especially doing YouTube or anything like that. I wasn't fully versed in, uh, you know, science fiction and pop culture like I am now. There's still a lot of stuff I don't know. There's stuff that I learn each and every day. There's stuff I learn talking to you guys in the comment section. Don't forget to get in my comment section. But be that as it may, I'm becoming a, what you would call that new rebirth of Star Wars fan. Just like there was a rebirth of, oh, that's a spoiler. So just, I'm a new Star Wars fan, you know. Uh, like I said, I've seen the prequels. I've watched some of the cartoons like Rebels and Clone Wars. I've seen that and stuff. And also, again, I have to watch 4, 5, and 6. But... I have spent a lot of time in the last year talking to people and learning about Star Wars and understanding what Star Wars is, asking certain questions, knowing what certain lore is, finding out what's canon and what's not canon. I'm talking to people like my friend Arthur, my man Kevin, and my man Jeremy Branch, talking to folks online, talking to folks on Facebook, talking to folks, like I said, here on YouTube. And you guys have really helped me a lot understand what Star Wars so I can be caught up. I've watched hours of videos, explanations, theories, uh, predictions, all that stuff. And I went to go see The Last Jedi and man, if the energy in the room felt so amazing. You don't understand when the Star Wars logo smashed on the screen and the theme song started. And I'm a musician. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a musician. So hearing that orchestral theme music, you know, I played too, but I used to play in a symphonic band. So we never played the Star Wars theme, but we had a lot of other themes and things of that nature. So that connected with me on that level. Just to hear that music. <laughs> You know, just to hear that, man, it got you hyping. The the screen crawl, the crawl, letting us know what's going on, letting us know what happened. Basically, letting us know what we're about to get into. The hype is real. I love being a fan of Star Wars, and especially love my Praetorian Guards. Man, those guys are sick. I've already bought the Praetorian Guard pop, and I'm going to get the two Walgreens exclusive on Walgreens.com. So, man, oh, my God. If I could be a Praetorian Guard when I grow up, I want to be a Praetorian Guard. But I digress. I just wanted to express how I feel about Star Wars. It's just, it's an awesome feeling to add something else to my sci-fi repertoire. I want to go see The Last Jedi again. Guys, if you don't know, my spoilers review is coming up tomorrow. We're going to a special location for the spoilers review. I got plenty of the Star Wars content online on my YouTube channel here as well. Go ahead and search this video, Star Wars Collection. Go ahead and find that video. It'll be there for you to watch. I thank you guys for watching. Let me know how it feels to be a Star Wars fan in your eyes. Let me know in the comments below whether you're watching this on YouTube or if you're watching this on Facebook. If you don't know who we are, we're Fanless Anonymous. We'll see you guys in the next video.